financial accounting. We've been doing the debit and credit rules as far as the accounting equation. And I think it might be a good idea to recap this and look at it from a T-account standpoint. Because remember we make our journal entries and that's a chronological listing of our transactions. And then we copy those transactions into our ledgers or our accounts. So let's take a look at the anatomy of the various, in this case, asset accounts to see how those debits and credits would flow into the, these T accounts or these, the ledger accounts. The first account we have that's an asset is cash. And we know that debits increase assets and credits decrease assets. And we know that is true for every single one of these asset accounts. That if it shows up on the left side, it's a debit and it increases it. So let's look at this. When would we debit cash? Well, we would debit cash when we receive cash, right? So anytime we debit cash, whether it's because we're starting a business and uh, getting cash from investors or making a cash sale uh, and we receive cash from customers, notice that debits increase cash. The only time cash goes down is when we, what, pay cash. So when I look at my cash account, I'm basically looking at, just like your checkbook register, the difference between the deposits you make in the bank and the checks you write. And that will give you a balance. Now, which side do you think is going to be bigger? The amount of cash you receive or the amount of cash you pay? Well, hopefully, your cash received will be greater than the cash paid. So if you were to have a balance or ask what the normal balance is in this account, it would be a debit balance. Why? Because you hopefully receive more cash than you pay. Accounts receivable, another asset account. Well, accounts receivable increase when you sell on account. In other words, you sell to customers who instead of giving you cash, give you their what? Credit card. And you decrease accounts receivable when cash is received from your customers. In other words, your customers are paying their bills. Now, which one do you think you'll have a balance? Well, since debits increase assets, your normal balance that you would expect to find will be a debit balance. So usually you, you have more promises to pay you than the cash you've received. Supplies. Supplies are debited or increased when you buy supplies. And supplies are reduced or credited when supplies are used supplies. So if you've got any supplies in the supply cabinet, that means you've bought more supplies than you've used. So the normal balance you would find in supplies is a debit. So are you seeing a pattern here that if debits increase the asset accounts, the normal balances you would expect to see would be debit balances. Prepaids. Prepaids exist because you buy insurance or you prepay your rent or whatever. So you buy or um, prepay, um, in this case it's rent, could be insurance, those kinds of things. Prepaids are reduced when you use or consume. So again, what kind of balance would you expect in prepaids? You'd expect a debit balance because hopefully you've paid for more than you've used. You can't use more than you've paid for. Finally, the other asset account you have is equipment. Equipment is debited or increased when you buy equipment. And equipment is only reduced when you sell equipment. 
So the normal balance you'd expect to see, again, is a debit balance. So those are the anatomy of the accounts you've come across so far that are assets.